Hello Year 7 and welcome back to your music lessons. This is your fifth music lesson on African djembe and melody. Before we get started, if you're looking for any music lessons that we've done previous, they can be found on YouTube and I've put the URL there so you can find it which will link you to a playlist with lessons 1, 2, 3, 4 and this one 5. When it comes to uploading your work, please upload to class charts with Word document, PowerPoint, screenshot, or take a picture of your work and upload it. Make sure that your picture is nice and clear. And then please make sure you do previous lessons as it will give you a better understanding to effectively complete this lesson and lessons in the future. So please make sure you get previous lessons done. For today's lesson, the lesson objective is to understand what a melody is and to learn about different types of melodies. So at the very least today, you should be able to highlight the melody in various songs. Once you're able to do that in the yellow box, you are able to recognize the difference between an ascending and a descending melody. And once you're able to do that in the green box at the right, you should be able to listen to and identify ascending or a descending melody. So you can hear the difference between what an ascending and a descending melody is. So what is a melody? A melody is basically just the main tune of a song. So if you're listening to a sing like a song with a singer singing lyrics, they'll probably sing the melody. It's the bit that you listen to, the main bit, or a guitar solo. These are the melodies of a song, the main tune of the song. So for task one, I would like you to listen to these three songs. That is Set You Free by Sam Ryder, Dean Town by Wolfpack, and Blue in Green by Miles Davis. I put the URLs uh, next to each one. I'd like to listen to those three songs and write down the instrument that is playing the melody in each of these songs. Make sure when you write down the melody of each song, which instrument is playing it, write down the name of each song as well to make sure that your work is clear. And then all videos can be found on YouTube. I put the URLs there as I said prior. Once you have done that, we're looking into ascending and descending melodies. Now, an ascending melody is basically just a melody that goes up. And a descending melody is just a melody that goes down. It's as simple as that. So if you're listening to a melody and the melody of the notes go upwards, that means you're listening to an ascending melody. And if you're listening to a song and the melody goes down, that is a descending melody. So for task two, you'll have to be on this video to listen to it. So I'm going to play five melodies and you're going to write down where you think it's an ascending or a descending melody. So I'll go through that again, just so you can make sure it's definitely clear. To complete this task, you will need to watch my video, this video, for uh, on YouTube. This is lesson five. I'll put the URL there as well. Uh, I'm going to play five melodies. Write down whether you think the melody is ascending or descending. So let's get started. Melody one. I'll play it again. That's melody one. Is it ascending or descending? Is it going up or going down? Melody two. And I'll play it a second time. That was melody two. Is it ascending or descending? Melody three. Is this ascending or descending? Is it going up or going down? I'll play it a second time now. That was melody three. Are the notes going up or are the notes going down? Is it ascending or descending? Melody four. I 
one for a second time. Was that ascending or descending? Melody four. And finally, melody five. Is this going up or going down? Is it ascending or descending? And I'll play it a second time now. Good, and once you have done that, can you please continue with your djembe research project? Uh, you have one week now to complete the work. That's the 12th of February to get it done. That's your deadline to finish and submit it. Uh, you should be completing slides 9 and 10. And once you have done this, you have finished it. So you can pretty much upload your research project to class charts. Please remember... When uploading your research project, please upload it to the music homework that is titled Research Project. You should know this because the deadline will be on the 12th. The due date will be on the 12th. So please make sure that you upload it to the homework that is titled Research Project. Thank you very much for listening. Hope everyone is well. Have a great day.